Assalamu alaikum our project topic is the decline of the glorious age of moguls we will be covering aurangzeb's successors till the reasons of its decline after aurangzeb's death the empire slowly began to crumble and became unstable following aurangzeb's death a war of succession took place between aurangzeb's three sons kambaksh azam and shahal Shah Alam defeated Azam near Agra and Kambaksh was defeated near Hyderabad. Shah Alam took the title of Bahadur Shah II and ruled from 1707 till 1712. During his rule he tried to pacify the Marathas and the Rajputs. Some of his qualities include being dignified, mild-tempered and learned. After his death in 1712, his four sons contested to the throne. and the most dissolute son Jahandar Shah came to the throne Zulfikar Khan helped him to the throne and became the chief minister The next successor was Farooq Siyar who was a puppet in the Sayyid brothers hands When he tried to get rid of the Sayyid brothers he got killed Later Rafi ud-Darajat and Rafi ud-Daula ruled for a few months and died a natural death Meanwhile the government was becoming poor due to his lack of good advice Roshan Akhtar, the grandson of Bahadur Shah I, titled Muhammad Shah, came to the throne. He was weak and an inexperienced ruler. The Said brothers were still active in the meantime. Meanwhile, Nizam al-Mulk gained territorial rights in the Deccan. When one of the Said brothers tried to subdue Nizam al-Mulk, he was assassinated. His brother, Hasan Ali, made an unsuccessful attempt to replace Muhammad Shah. He was imprisoned. which is how the sayyid brothers hold came to an end a tragedy during muhammad shah's regent was when they had to witness nadir shah's invasion nadir shah wrote a letter to muhammad shah that he should take an action against his enemies since they were taking shelter within muhammad shah's territory muhammad shah said he'll take an action however he liked Nadir Shah sent another letter saying that Muhammad Shah should take action otherwise he'll call war over him Nadir Shah yet again replied that he'll do something about it but he lied again Nadir Shah had already overthrown the Safavid dynasty of Persia in 1739 the weak borders of the subcontinent caught his attention he advanced to Kabul Ghazni and Lahore with his army his men looted the whole empire and gained a huge booty he also killed over 20000 people in a battle lasting 2 hours muhammad shah negotiated with nadir shah and gave him 50 lakh rupees as tribute however a false rumor of nadir shah's death caused the killing of thousands of his men which enraged him leading to the massacre of delhi in the following 58 days nadir shah's army looted everyone house by house, stole fruit worth 350 years, and stole Shah Jahan's famous peacock throne. The invasion gave a death blow to the empire, which it never recovered from. Muhammad Shah's region saw the growth of literature and culture. New trends took place and Urdu came of age, which produced exceptional pep poets. Shah Alam II was Muhammad Shah's successor, but was only a puppet of a ruler. When the Maharathas captured Lahore in 1758, they deposed the Mohammad Shah, who was Ahmad Shah Abdali's son. This is one of the leading reasons for the third battle of Panipat. Ahmad Shah Abdali was Nadir Shah's commander of the East Provinces. He invaded Hindustan three times, inflicting losses upon the city. The leading reasons for the third battle of Panipat is when Shah Waliullah requested Ahmad Shah Abdali to curb the power of the Marathas. The Marathas Peshwa Sen died in this battle, and the Marathas never recovered from this blow. The Maratha states split into five independent states with their own rulers. They fought each other for supremacy. The last two rulers were Akbar Shah II and Bahadur Shah II. Some of the main reasons for the end of this prestigious empire included weak successors who couldn't rule empire left by Aurangzeb. Various invasions by the Marathas and other rebels weakened the Mughals. Degradation of Mughals nobility also serve as main factor of fall of the Mughal empire. Aurangzeb's successors were also weak 
as they couldn't rule the empire as a whole. The reimposition of Jazia by Aurangzeb caused mistrust among his subjects. Aurangzeb's second campaigns weakened the empire since he was away from the administration for too long. This also caused the loss of prestige Mama in Ahmed. the Mughal army. It took 150 years from Aurangzeb's death for the mighty empire to crumble. The last two rulers, Akbar Shah II and Bahadur Shah II, were only inmates of the Red Fort. The British kept them as pensioners and ruled in their shadow. Hope you liked our documentary. Credits written by Imama Ahmed and Tabir Kamran. Edited by Amna Wasik. Voice overs by Imama Ahmed, Fatma Said, Tabir Kamran, Amna Wasik, and Fatma Tulzara.